Ready? Sorry. Seattle, Washington. It's a domestic violence call. A man with a large knife is standing between officers and two children and two adults hiding in another room. But what they're about to witness will probably be one of the most shocking crimes of their careers. Whoa, I just want to warn you, what you're about to see and hear is extremely graphic, but it shows you what officers go through every single day across this country. I am confident that once those officers kicked in that door, they were not expecting to see what they were about to see. It will forever be etched in their minds. Absolutely. Once again, I just want to warn you, what you're about to hear and see is extremely graphic. Let's head back to the scene. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The suspect has a butcher knife, and the officers are trying to identify and save any potential victim. Watch what happens when the officers finally kick in the door. The blurred out bloody image to the right is horrific. Get fire, get fire, get fire. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. The officers noticed a woman's head has been severed from her body. Oh, oh, that. Oh, her head is cut off. Oh, 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 hey, stay oh, right there. Let me see. Give me see. Stay there. Now they're trying to process a man with a butcher knife and the bloody scene just inches from their feet. Do not touch the knife. God. God. They have to remain as calm as they can and attempt to get the suspect to drop the knife. Yes! She, she got her head cut off. All right. But don't forget, there's hostages and maybe more victims. The suspect keeps the knife close and is still not complying with the officer's order. One officer tries to clear the apartment looking for victims when the suspect grabs the knife again. Did he pick up a gun? He got the knife. He got the knife. Get down on the He got the knife again. They open fire. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't Even though he's been shot, the suspect then throws the knife at the officers. Get down. Let's move in, huh? In the end, the officers rescued the two children and two adults from the apartment. The suspect was declared dead at the scene. Wow, that was insane. And I hope that those police officers got some mental health help because based upon what they saw and what they heard, it's going to be difficult for them to process. You know, a domestic violence call is one of the most dangerous calls a police officer can handle because you never know what's going to happen behind those doors there. It could be like a powder keg of emotion that's about to explode at any moment. And I salute those officers for what they have to deal with every single day. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Street Survival, Police Shootouts, Caught on Camera.